Welcome back to The Distressed Princess, I'm Rhonda. Today's video is sponsored by Timu. They have sent me lots and lots of Halloween products to share with you, so I'm really excited to show you the big haul. Plus, I'm gonna show you how I crafted with some of the items. Timu is your online shopping mecca. It doesn't matter what you're looking for, I bet you they have it. And they have figured out how to bring you the products at such a lower price that you just about want everything on there. They are having an anniversary sale and there will be links in my description for every product that you see here today. Plus, you're going to want to download their app because it makes shopping so much easier. If you love Halloween as much as I do, then don't overlook Timu. It's going to be your place. And for Christmas, too, I have a feeling. So these are Halloween tins from the old slasher movies from the 80s and 90s. My gosh, what a deal. These are like $3 or something a piece. Like I said, everything's linked in my description box so you can purchase your own. In this package was a big giant, I think it's a 49 or 50 inch spider that's going to be crawling on my house this year for Halloween. And there's a really cool spider web coaster set. And here's the spider. I actually have two more of them that are black and they're going to be crawling on my house this year. And it's a really affordable way to do house decorations. The next package contained some Halloween leggings, and I have ordered so many Halloween clothes from Timu. Um, they sent me these leggings, and they're going to be cute with some stuff that I already have. They uh, do have somewhat of a shine to them. They're not like 100% cotton leggings, but I think they're going to be really, really cute with like a black hoodie. And here is a shirt that is really similar to one that I've seen at a much higher end store. And it has a really cool Halloween design on it from the Trick or Treat movie. The next one might quite possibly be one of my very favorite things in this haul. It came in this tube, which I can't get it back down inside of, but it's very well protected in this plastic tube. And it is a canvas of the ghosts. So ghosts are so popular for Halloween this year. This was only a couple of bucks, like I'm not kidding you, like $2 and some change. And there's a couple different sizes and all I need is a frame and he's going to be so cool on my wall. I also got a foil tablecloth and some Halloween decorations. They have so many to choose from. This one is a table runner that is so so trendy. I love the truck and the pumpkins. I love the black and white and it is a really nice length. And this is a giant spider web for my outdoor spiders this year. It came with stakes to stake it into the ground and looks really simple to put up. You know I got extra excited when I saw that there was something for the house in these packages. And this one is like a mantle scarf or you could use it as a curtain. You could clip it onto curtain rings. Now, every year my husband and I have a Halloween party and we decorate our barn. So that's what this is going to be for. It is a Halloween backdrop. It has grommets, which I love. And it's made of fabric, so it's going to be really easy to put up and take down and store every year. And Timu also has all kinds of indoor Halloween decorations like figurines and such. So here is a black cat. But he's not just any black cat. He's a candle holder black cat. So I'm going to put a taper candle in the back. In this bag are all the crafting items and some of them that I'm going to use in the DIYs in this video today. Timu has really quality craft items. I am really impressed with these iron-on transfers. So forget if you don't have a cutting machine or a sublimation machine. You can make your own shirts just using these iron-on transfers. And sometimes I love just the simplest decorations like these spiders and spider webs and you can use them individually or you can string them up like a garland. It even came with a needle to make stringing them up easier. In this little package, if this isn't the most precious thing, they're iron on patches or like embroidered, there's pumpkins and ghosts. And you cannot go wrong. These are only $1.48 for a set of two, and you can put them on all kinds of stuff. 
This one is another really big deal from Timu. It is a cup wrap, so you can make your own personalized glass cups with the cute little bamboo lid, because they have those at Timu too. And it's just a peel and stick, and it would be so much fun to make a bunch of these. Now I'm a press on nail girl. <laughs> so I love to get their press on nails and I am actually wearing this set. It's really cute with the pink and little pumpkins and designs and they have stayed on my fingers for a week now. And let's not forget about my vintage Halloween love. Look at these wooden ornaments. They are so stinking adorable. They're all the little vintage children in their little Halloween costumes, and they are precious. I love them. And they also have this set of vintage ornaments, and I think they are really cool. They have holes in the top of each one, and both sets comes with their own jute string. Now this one kind of reminds me of my grandma because she was one of those ladies that wore a big pin for every holiday. So this one just makes me happy. I want you to know that a lot of stuff on Timu actually looks like high-end products. So here we have a metal decoration. You can put a light behind it to cast a shadow or light it up and it's really, really cool. I don't remember this guy being on the list of stuff that they were going to send me, but I love him anyway. He's just a plain simple skull. Timu also has lots of lighting options, so I got this solar light string, but I love that it's solar powered and I'm hoping to do one of those like patio string light setups and then I'll have my fire pit underneath there and I'm hoping it's going to be really cool for my party. And the last thing in the haul is another lighting thing. It's a uh, flameless remote control taper candles. And so these are all the rage and I have been wanting a set of these so bad. On the remote control, there is a candle light flicker so they look even more realistic. And not in the haul because I bought this with my own money before this promotion was this Halloween bracelet that is so stinking cute. And this is the magic code that's going to give you $100 in Timu coupons. Now, Timu coupons are a lot of fun to use because they give you stuff that you can choose from to use your coupons with. And when you select what you want, you get to watch that price drop. And it is so much fun. So here is that code again. It will be in my description box. And don't forget that Timu always has free shipping. And look who's ready to start crafting. So the first thing we're going to do is work with this iron-on transfer. And I picked up this canvas tote to put it on. I thought it would be really cute to carry around for Halloween. The transfers didn't come with any instructions. So I just looked up the heat guide for my Easy Press. Now I'm preheating the fabric and I have my Easy Press set at 350 and I'm going to press for 40 seconds. So now I've preheated my fabric for about 10 seconds. Now I've positioned my transfer and I'm going to put the easy press right down on top with medium pressure and let it count down. You could also do this with a regular iron. You'd have to do it in sections, which I'm actually doing this in sections too because my easy press wasn't quite big enough. But also Timu has a smaller heat press you might be interested in if you want to do these designs. After I went over the whole design for 40 seconds, then I flipped it over and I heated up the back side for about 15 seconds. And here's the reveal. The transfer sheet peeled off like a dream and my design was intact on the tote. I think this would be a really good idea to do a boo bag for your neighbors and fill it up with candies and treats and hang it on your neighbor's doorknob. The next DIY is also using transfers, but you didn't see these transfers in the haul because I actually bought these with my own money to make a shirt for myself, 
but I will link them in my description box down below because they're adorable and you get two of them and I think they're about four dollars and something so if you already have a plain Jane shirt or hoodie that you would like to put these on then you only need the four dollars for the transfer and you're gonna have some really cute fall clothes now, it was off camera. I lint rolled this hoodie and now I have preheated it for about 10 seconds with my easy press. Now I'm just positioning the transfer in place. You can see my easy press is still set at 350. I'm gonna press for 40 seconds. The whole design doesn't fit under my easy press so I had to do it in sections, but just as long as each section is 40 seconds. However, with this transfer, I felt that I needed to go over it a second time. So I pressed it for a total of 80 seconds because I didn't feel like it was completely stuck down on the first go around. So just kind of use your own common sense, you know, just kind of pick up the transfer sheet and see if it's stuck. If it's not, then heat it some more. And again, the transfer sheet came off like a dream. And I can't attest for how this is going to wash. It seems like it should wash just fine and hold up. But I think to be on the safe side, I might would turn this hoodie inside out when I wash it. And these little guys, these little stinkers. Oh gosh, they're so cute. So you could do anything with them. I wanted to actually put one on a small purse, but I couldn't find a small purse that would be the right thing to put it on. So I'm gonna jazz up some sweatpants. And this was just as easy, just a lint roll to remove any hair or debris, preheat for about 10 seconds, and then apply your patch and medium pressure for 40 seconds. And remember, when you're doing transfers or patches, you need to flip your item over and heat it from the back side for about 15 to 20 seconds. And that's all it took. I think what I'll do is cut out some vinyl letters that say pumpkin and put that down the leg. And the other patches I decided need to go on this basket to make it nice for Halloween. So I'm just trying to flatten out one side and I'm going to have the pumpkin in the center and the two ghosts on each side. And same deal, just preheat your fabric, put your patches down, press them for 40 seconds or more if you see fit and press the other side and they're stuck. They're stuck on and they're not going anywhere. And this definitely looks like a Halloween decoration I would pick up in a store. So thank you to Timu for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget, everything you saw here today will be linked in my description box down below. But I really think you would enjoy the app. So there's a link to download the app and you can just have fun shopping away. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some great ideas and inspiration. If you want to see more Halloween DIYs, click the link that I've provided for you right here. And I'll see you next time. Bye!